because we're a little worried. Are we desperate to accept any idea that sounds alternative or green? Are we avoiding looking too closely because we don't want to know the answer? Ozzy Zenner, a visiting scholar at UC Berkeley and Northwestern University, was asking some of the same questions. I mean, I thought that solar and wind were probably very good solutions. I mean, it wasn't really even that long ago. One of the most dangerous things right now is the illusion that alternative technologies like wind and solar are somehow different from fossil fuels. Well, I hear a lot of the times that solar cells are made out of sand. Have you ever thought about solar panels? The main ingredient that makes them work is silicon or sand. This is the raw material chips are made of, sand. They don't use sand at all. So they use, I'll show you what they uh, So this is, this is one of the, the ingredients. It's actually mined quartz. Spruce Pine, North Carolina, regarded as the finest source of high-purity quartz in the world for semiconductor, solar, and communication applications. But you can't use sand because sand has too many impurities. So you start with a very high-quality quartz and a very high-quality coal. And then you put those two together into uh, an arc furnace and you melt them. The quartz is then melted with coal in a large furnace at temperatures of up to 1,800 degrees. So you need more coal to do that. So this, I get another coal out. <laughs> so when we melt these together, we get silicon metal and carbon dioxide. And the carbon dioxide just goes off and you got rid of the carbon, you're left with silicon metal. This is not clean coal. Man. Not clean yeah. coal. <laughs> Ozzy Zenner said it was an illusion that renewables were replacing coal or any fossil fuel. Environmental groups continued telling a different story. 